Namashivai students today we will discuss about exercises of chapter number 14 i think students you have finished doing the exercise a, a in your book let's begin our discussion with this exercise number a write the names of two materials used in building these shelters first one shelter of the early man answer leaves or animal hides number 2 kachcha house mud and stone number 3 pakka house answer sand and gravel number 4 skyscraper answer cement and brick number 5 is slum answer will be tin sheets and mud here students you can use the names of other materials which are appropriate for each category This exercise you will do in your book only. Don't write anything in the copy. Now move to exercise B. Write a distinctive feature of each each of these living arrangements. This exercise you have to write in the classwork copy. First one is residential colony. Answer: The houses are built together having common boundary wall. Next is apartment. Apartment does not have an open space. Bungalow. Bungalow is a big independent house with many rooms. Four. Integrated township. Integrated township is a huge colony with schools, banks, hospitals and markets. Next is chawl. Chawl is having one common bathroom. I have mentioned one one feature of these living arrangements. If you want, you can write any other features over here, but it should be only one distinctive features of these living arrangements. Now move to exercise D. Exercise C we have already done in video number two of this chapter. I think students you have already written that answer in your copy so we will not discuss that answer any more i will move to exercise d give reasons for your answer this exercise also you have to write in your classwork copy number 1 the houses in the past had high ceilings the houses in the past had high ceilings because that allowed better air circulation Number 2 cow dung was smeared on the floors answer cow dung was smeared on the floors because it kept away insects and flies there are common parks shared by all the people in a colony answer there are common parks shared by all the people in a colony because they do not have an open space around their houses Number 4 slums are dirty and unhygienic answer slums are dirty and unhygienic because they do not have clear drinking water proper sanitation and drainage facilities number 5 chawls are very congested colonies answer chawls are very congested colonies because there are about 10 to 20 one room tenements on each floor of a building where one family lives in one room having one common bathroom so students write these two exercises in your copy that is exercise b and d give to the state and start writing the answer and check the answer of exercise a in your book only in the next class when we will meet we will discuss the exercises e that means the question answer portion of this chapter till then do your work namashivaya